Welcome back to Sin's Arcade. The, this game is Star Traders Frontiers, and I am the Lord of Sin. Now, last month, Star Traders Frontiers hosted a merchant challenge for October of 2022, and now for November of 2022, there is a Pirate's Life November 2022 Community Challenge. Plunder, conscript, and loot your way through the universe. So, the challenge is very open for how you want to play being a pirate, and the link for this webpage, for the Steam webpage, will be included in uh, the description, so don't forget you can click down below. I am going to be playing on the hardest difficulty for this. We're going to start with a normal Corsair. This is the stock Corsair that your game comes with automatically. Um, and if we die, then we are going to change it up to a completely new template that we're going to build on in, in the series. So, so it says, Avast you, Captains. It's time for the November 2022 Star Traders Frontiers Challenge. Last time, we did a trade-focused merchant challenge. This time, though, it's all about piracy in the Pirate's Life Challenge. Time to plunder, capture, and steal your way through the universe. This challenge is very open for how you want to play being a pirate, but there are a few requirements. These requirements for the challenge are no buying from faction worlds. You can buy from indie worlds and sell at any world or any exchange but as this is a pirate challenge, we want to emphasize plundering and capturing goods from other ships. So, you're going to be focusing the vast majority of your work on plundering it from other ships instead of buying anything from the exchanges or even your contacts. Well, within reason, obviously. Some gear and weapons and armor you have to buy from contacts. That's the only way to get those. Finally, the other point that's a requirement is that five of your crew must be conscripted. This requirement will take time to complete, but by the end of the challenge, at least five of your crew need to have been conscripted from another ship. Alright, so with all that said and out of the way, we're going to go ahead and get started today. We're going to go ahead and launch it. As I mentioned before, we're going to do just anything. In this case, we're since we are going to do um, a piracy run, there's no real way to do a piracy run with any of the factions per se. Um, but if I had to pick between anything, I would say I would want to be on the best, one of the best military sides, because they're going to, they're, they're going to come after me if I don't. So, honestly, I'm probably going to end up picking Steel Song Clan over Kadar Syndicate, only because of the additional spice that comes with that, plus four spice. So because of that, that's one of our zone bonuses, we're going to probably take advantage of that. We are going to stay on the default map. Um, we are not going to go to a completely new map. We're going to stay on the default map because that way if other people at home want to follow along, they can. We are starting out on hard difficulty and we're not changing that across the board. We're looking at Captain Vance here. Let's go ahead and take these other things off. Those are all uh, early backer rewards. And so hard difficulty on the default map. Steel Song is our faction. We are playing a pirate in the Pirate's Life Challenge for November 2022. And we're going to keep Captain Vance like this. Let's go ahead and launch her up. Hope you guys are all having a great day out there. This series is going to go for as long as two captains can run. So if that means we go all the way through to the end of November, then so be it. If we don't even make it all the way to November, or the end of November, then so be it as well. Anybody can do any of these captains anytime they want. You are not, and I repeat, not locked into only doing it for November of 2022. In fact, you can go back and do any of the challenges for any of the uh, any of the challenges in the past that they've done. Now, I did skip the early stuff. Uh, we're not playing any of the story stuff this time. All right, we have five crew. It looks like that need to be updated. Let's go ahead and get on those. We're not high, we're not firing anybody. We're keeping everybody we've got. Because we're going to end up losing somebody anyway. So we're going to go ahead and just double down on everybody here. Let's go there. You're a quartermaster. You're a pilot. You have a talent here that we're going to go as high as we can. I think you're what, level one? Probably, right? Level two. Level two pilot. So we have to just make sure that we've got rid of this one. And... Oh, it helps if I'm in the right page. That would be helpful, right? I'm sure. 
Let's go over there. Go over here. And this is the pirate. This is the captain. Okay, so Captain Vance. She's not very, looks like a pirate very much. Let's go ahead and set her up as a pirate face instead. No, no, I like that face. That's a good face. Let's go with that. Oh, nope. Nope, not pirate, not pirate. 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 Arr. All right, let's give her... She don't need no stinking eye patch. She's, she's cool. She's cool. She's going to be a sexy pirate, I think, or something. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. You never know, right? That's the whole idea. You never, ever know. So I'm going to unlock it here and see if we can kind of mix and match a little bit. That looks pirate-ish. That's not bad. No. I think that's the one that normally comes with it. Ooh, then that look doesn't look bad at all. Let's go with this, though. This seems to fit as far as the color spectrum from the top to the bottom. And if I'm doing all this wrong, then please somebody let me know, because I'll be honest with you, that's not... Color management and stuff like this is not my is not my strong suit. So um, we all know that that uh, I'm not a very uh, good technical. Uh, I, I I I not good. I not good like that. All right, let's go ahead and double down on pirate. And now this is important because she is a level three or rank three. So we're going to pick what we can. Keen. So pirates uh, rigorous search. We're going to take. Because that'll help us to be able to find lootable cargo that we normally would not find otherwise. We're going to double down on Raider Scrutiny. And that was it. So that's the only tools we have. I probably should have done the blockading system and replace the risk with a merchant card. Um, how much money do we have? 7,500 credits. So probably not enough to do any of that. Let's take a look at our one con or two contacts. We have the Smuggler and the Arbiter. Um, we're not paying attention to any of them. Smuggler missions. At least they have the black market there. Economic rumors. Trade permits, which we might. All right. So we're now going to take a look at the Atlas and find out. Oh, wrong one. Sorry, hit the right button. That'd be helpful. Go to the Atlas and see if we can find anything around here. Um, we are Steel Song. And, of course, we have Kadar nearby i don't know if i want to pick the fight with kadar just yet however there's the devaltos over here and this world might be worthwhile to go into um let's see what else do we have we have a javant dervant towers alistair city we have a zenrin belfry north and Naledi capital is ours and then finally pernell peak uh, which is another Zenran Industrial. So we have some spaces out here that we can kind of get into. Um, we are currently in a trade ban with Kadar and in an alliance with Devaltos. So we're not going to go after the Devaltos just yet, just simply because that's not going to be worthwhile for us. So let's go ahead and take a look back again at here. Scroll all the way down. And that's so far away, isn't it? All right, you know what? That's ours. Let's go ahead and go to Cheserit. And let's start picking on some peeps. All right, so now we're here at Cheserit. Inside the system, we're going to go ahead and blockade. That's the name of the game. We're pirates, after all. And pirating be pirates. Got a ship danger. That was really weird. Military ship. All right. So we have Raider Scrutiny. It's a military officer. We don't really want any fight with them. So we're probably going to have to... Hit the fight button and escape. Alright, so we do not want to pick the fight with them. Remember correctly, this should help us try to take... Not get hit as much. I'm hoping. We can dodge. They missed. We're out. No! Okay, yeah. I was going to say we're out of the range. All right, good. All right, continue. And let's do the third. Crew danger. Passed a pilot wisdom check. Got 25, 30, sorry, 55 total experience. Another ship danger. Another pass. 
another ship encounter. All right, sorry about that, guys. I'm getting a bunch of stuff in the background. Sorry about that. No, come over here. Come back there. There we go. All right, there's that. All right, so. Let's see. They are a bounty hunter, a Javad bounty hunter. Our mission cargo be inspected and confiscated. We're not going to pick the fight with them. We're going to go ahead and let us uh, sub submit. So, they found nothing. We gained 30 experience but lost 25 morale. Doesn't look like we're in the morale danger zone just yet. Let's go ahead and patrol really quick and see if we can get that rep back out of the negative. We have a raiding pirate. Is that one of ours, though? It is one of ours. I'm going to surrender to looting just because he's one of ours. And we're not trying to pick a fight with him. Lost 40 more morale. So let's go ahead and back out here. I'm worried kind of about the morale, but we're going to go ahead and land at this uh, indie mining location. 2340 fuel. 1138 or 1388 in pay wages. Doesn't leave us much. We need to pick something off of these ships. Got to get something. Ooh, lootable merchant. I like that. Let's go. Let's go. Give us the lootable merchant. There we go. I like that. He lost one row rep with Kadar. I don't care. Let's do a raider scrutiny. They have zero raw materials and 46 manufactured goods and zero rare trade goods. We're not going to bribe them. We're actually going to shoot in and try to fight them. So, looking at them, they are Merchant Estrella, level 2, negative 1 hostility, and a Galtac Freighter. And it looks like our level, our captain's level has an edge over the enemy, even though we're level 3. Our accuracy has a slight edge. Our ability to range change, our change ranges is obviously an advance uh, or uh, benefit on our side. Engine is weaker than theirs. It's risky. Our defense is closely matched, 10 to 25% tipped off by one buff to our enemy's accuracy. Our escape ability has an edge over the enemy, and it's risky. Uh, our engine speed, range 4 and 5, is closely matched, 10 to 25% tipped by one buff to our enemy. And our boarding skills have an edge as well. All right, so they already have armored bulkheads, giving them a plus 4 radiation resistance. And what do we have? We have deflector array with plus 4 void resistance. Pilot Assistant Module 1, 22% uh, evade craft attacks, armored bulkheads, plus 4 radiation uh, resist, sensor array accuracy, and uh, hit craft bonus. Brigand gives us 10 boarding with 10% accuracy and 5% or plus 5 range change. So that Brigand right there will actually help us quite a bit. Um, we look like we are a missile boat by and large, I believe. Let me just confirm that. Yeah, we're more of a missile boat. Our better ranges on this boat are between 5 and 3, but 5 is our strongest. So, that being said, we're going to go ahead and triple or double down on those. And put in our advance here. No, we want this one instead. Let's lock them down if we can. I'm not moving with any of the faster speed combat. That may be in future episodes. If you guys want that to speed these up, then we can by all means do that here. If you did not know, there's a little arrow right here next to the uh, weapons. If you're hitting that, it just uh, selects the same ones you did for the last turn. We are going to advance. No, we're not going to advance. I don't think that's worth it. Let's go ahead and use our last buff. Still very early game, so we're, all of our people are very low level. They missed. We hit 39 and 27. They missed. They can't get away. Let's do one more salvo. But this time with everything, and then we'll advance on the next round. Because we're going to try to soften them up a little bit before we go in and board them. I think boarding is not only going to help us in gaining the best possible amount of um, experience that our, our personnel need to be able to, to uh, level up, but will just overall be the best option, I think. So that's what we're going to do. They're about, looks like they're what, about a quarter of the way down. They still can't hit us. Still can't hit us. Now we advance. Did we fail to range, uh, change range? Gotcha. All right. So let's do that again. 
Let's go here and end. Currently playing this on a Chromebook. It plays a lot like PC when you play it like this, especially with the mouse and keyboard. All right. We still failed to change ranges, so you know what? Let's butter them up a little bit. Pepper, pepper, salt, and pepper. Where did all the rum go? See, the, you guys, it wouldn't have been this tough if you had just given up the, the stuff, given up the goods. But no, you had to be disrespectful. You had to not listen. You had to be like, look at me, don't shoot my Galtac freighter. Why would you do that? I don't like that. So now, that's why we're putting some pincher, a pincher on them a little bit. All right, soften them up a little bit more using the missiles or, or uh, let's go there, or torpedo, excuse me. There we go, now we get to advance a little bit. In fact, Let's go ahead and throw this up only. I don't think we have any more talents, do we? No, we don't. We're going to go ahead and move forward. Let's do some basic shots. Ooh, 118 crit. That was nice. Move in. Do another PPC here and can't. So we are at range three. Now we can. And move forward. Come on, come on. Man, look at those burn marks that are scars all over their ship. Unfortunately... Even if we do get this done. Alright, we're not going to beat up the ship anymore. Because otherwise, when we ransom it off, we're not going to get any of the money from Kadar for it. So, now we're finally in boarding territory. Let's go ahead and advance in. As soon as this combat is completed, then we'll finish for this episode. And I'll see you in the next one. But let's go ahead and get this going. We have a swordsman. A soldier. A soldier and a pistolier. I don't know why the two soldiers are set up that way, but let's just go with that. That's fine. These probably these guys are probably gonna be sponge sponges anyway. Ooh, look at those. Decent. Decent, decent. Ooh. Oh, missed him. Alright, I'm using the basic stuff for now. Because it's almost as good, if not better, than the other stuff anyway. person in the back is already hurt, so that's good. Don't hit me. Actually, you know what? Let's take them out. Good. Done. Bye-bye. Yeah, nice miss. Miss. All right, she is cool. Who is this? Gay Banecast? Banecast has got it down, dude. She's ex-military and righteous. She can dodge a bullet. Ooh. Swiffity, swiffity. I don't know if it's the recording or not. This looks like it's kind of... Alright, so... We are going to panic the enemy crew. But we are not going to sabotage the ship. And we're going to depart. There you go. Not enough surviving crew to man their battle stations. We win! Look at that! Loot all that cargo. Beautiful, beautiful cargo. Take all their fuel. And there's nobody to conscript because we, we kind of took them all out. So now we're going to go ahead and ransom the ship. And scrolling down. So we we lost five reputation with Kadar. And we lost an additional six reputation with Kadar. So a total of 11 there. We lost, we've stolen 31 units of weapon components, which is really good. Uh, 15 units of luxury clothing. We stole 12 units of fuel lost, and there's probably where the additional 6 is. So I'm wondering if it's only 11 or if it's total 17. I guess we'll find out soon. Ship Ransom, they gave us 3,850 in Ransom. So let me give you a real pro, pro tip on this. Anybody who's going to be doing this Pirate's Life Challenge, if you really want to do Ransom in your ships, your best bet is to not do any damage to the ship that you absolutely have to. You need to go in and board them repeatedly just as many times as possible until there's nobody left to, to take you on or whatever the case may be. Or you damage the ship and knock the engines out or whatever, right? The reason I'm saying that is the less damage you do to the ship, the more money you'll get in ransom. It may or may not be a ploy for you, but I'm just giving you a heads up. That's how you would normally want to get more ransom anyway. All right, so that's good there. We're going to come back out here. We're going to go ahead and land at the mining location. We are going to pay off the... Boy, oh man, F, F rated, that's not good at all. And look at that. We have a bunch of cargo. 
Looks like we just made ourselves a quick 10 grand or 19 grand almost on that. Oh, that looks like 11 here. And that's going to end off this episode. Thank you for joining me for the first episode in the Pirate's Life Challenge. Again, the description, see that uh, down below um, for more information. Even though the stuff will be posted at the beginning of December on the Tracy Brothers uh, Discord and their uh, website, um, it doesn't mean that that is the end of the challenges either. So we're going to continue this series on, and I'm going to see you guys next Thursday um, with this current with Captain Vance as we continue on. Uh, we do need a name for the ship, and anybody else who wants to be named can also be named. So let me know inside the comments down below. If you've enjoyed this episode and want to see more, there's plenty more under the subscribe button somewhere on the screen. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a happy and safe one.